Hi everyone, today I am here with the JJRC X1. This right here is an amazing quadcopter. Uh, it is not a quadcopter for beginners, it is a more uh, intermediate to advanced quadcopter. As, um, as y'all probably know already, it does have brushless, brushless motors, so it's, it's pretty fast. Uh, it can get, it has good, good pitch angles, it has good, a good yaw, you can really be maneuverable with this thing. It's small, um, so you can carry it around with you easily. Uh, so very, very cool quadcopter. Just a little bit about the frame, it's made out of uh, just a plastic. It is not extremely durable, the plastic, uh, the, the, the material it's made out of. So I had uh, one good big wreck where I was trying to really, really get the most out of it and uh, I just hit the ground kind of hard and it cracked right here right along the the seams I have heard from other people uh, having the same same problem so this is a common problem with these of course it's only if you wreck it so if you're just extremely careful and you don't wreck it then uh, you're not gonna have any problems what I did was I, I glued it I super glued it back and I uh, just put some tape around it and, and I left it like that overnight and it seems to be holding up well. Flew it once and it uh, seems to be holding up okay. So they do have replacement uh, bodies here for this uh, cheap on Gearbest. Uh, they, they charge you four five dollars for the for the top and the bottom so around ten bucks for the whole frame so you could always do that just you know get a new frame. Uh, it comes with this landing with his landing legs the landing gear and um, it's okay. Um, I think it's it's a little. You, it takes some getting used to landing uh, because the landing mechanism, you know, when when you go all the way down on the throttle, it doesn't shut off the 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 the, the propellers. The propellers are still going. So and you know, if there's a little bit of wind. If you're not very stable landing, it does tend to flip uh, forward or sideways, uh, mostly forward and backwards. So you you do have to. Um, you know, just watch out for that. Uh, this uh, this quad has a unique um, starting mechanism. It has a lock, and I'll go over it today also. So right now, my plan is to just get everything out of the box, just kind of show everything, and then um, to uh, fly it around and uh, show it off a little bit. So here we go. Is uh, the quad comes without the landing gear in in this part of the box right there? Um, it does come with the propellers on. Uh, and then uh, you have your uh, your battery and your and your uh, charging cable. I'll talk a little bit about the battery here. Uh, the battery is a 7.4 uh, 1300 milliamp hour battery. I'm not sure about the discharge capacity. I think it might be a 30 C, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, it has that plug right there, and it has a, the balance plug right there as well. Um, so that's the battery. It takes about uh, an hour, uh, hour and a half to charge, and comes with this, comes with this uh, uh, charger. The charger uh, lights up orange when it's charging, and then when it's done charging, it's green. And that's uh, and, it, and it plugs up into the 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 balance um, lead there on the battery. Also comes with a full set of spare propellers and a little wrench there to take off the nut the nuts on the on the propellers and also comes with a screwdriver it has some extra screws um, and it then it also the propeller guards um, and here's the the remote so with the remote uh, it's fairly straightforward it's it's very standard so it's a mode 2 so it has your uh, right stick uh, you know that controls your pitch and your and your roll and it has your left stick uh, controls your your uh, throttle your elevator and uh, your yaw and you have the right um, right shoulder button here controls your your rates you have three different rates uh, they're, they're all good rates the, the the third rate is super super good it's super fast and the other shoulder button here doesn't really do much um, you, right down here you have your trim buttons so you have four trim buttons there for your for your uh, controls here and uh, if you have a camera for the quad you uh, you control the camera with this with this button right here 
um, this button doesn't have a use right now. So these two buttons don't have uses, as far as I know from, from what I read in the directions. It uses uh, four AA batteries. Here are the instructions that come with the quad. Um, they are in Chinese and in English. The, probably the most important part here um, to get is how to get the quadcopter started once you're ready to bind and uh, also how to uh, shut it down. The instructions on the quad um, say that it gets, uh, flies for about 10 to 13 minutes. I've noticed on average um, I've gotten a good 8 minutes. It's uh, you know until it really starts losing juice. So I don't know, 6, 8 minutes, I think it's a little more realistic than the 10 to 13. I think you can push it that far, but you're going to really start uh, damaging your battery, uh, just over, over uh, discharging it. So I put the battery in the quad. Um, I hooked it up. Now I'm going to turn on the remote. All right, so it's going to beep a couple of times. It does something there. Um, kind of binds, but it's not fully binded. And, and you won't, you know, you, if it, it can sit like that all day. You, you can try to uh, give it throttle, do anything you can, hit every button you can, and it won't start. So what you do is to unlock it, you have to hold the two buttons away towards the lower corner, and you can hear it beep twice. And then after that, to start the propellers, you have to go left, right, and left. And, uh, and that starts the propellers. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, it's just going to sit there. Now, it also has a mechanism after 10 seconds of, of idling like that, it's going to shut down. So uh, we'll, we'll wait and see if it does it. Um, so you see, I didn't hit anything, it just shut down. So that's, uh, that's like an internal mechanism that it has. It just shuts down after 10 seconds of idling. Uh, so when you land, that is the way to shut it down. Now, you can shut it down manually. Uh, if you don't want to wait for the 10 seconds. So what you do for that is unlock the quad. Okay, we're going to start the propeller. So we're going to go right, left, right, and the propeller start. And then we're going to go uh, like the same unlocking mechanism. Just hold both buttons away to the lower corner and the propeller shut down. And you got you to gotta just do it decisively. You can't um, you know, if you, if you start doing one and then doing the other, the, the, the quad might just flip around, you know, flip, uh, go forward or something like that. So you have to kind of just, just really, you know, hit them. Start, all right, so let's start the motors again. All right, motors are going, and I'm going to shut them down. And then they shut down. So that, that, is, um, that is a way to shut the, to start the motors and to shut them down. Once the motors are going, everything else is pretty standard. You know, you're going to control your throttle, and then you're going to change the rates right here, and then, you know, you're, you're good. So let's uh, take it up in the air, um, show what it can do, and uh, go from there.